doing folks and welcome to Movie Madness with Maka B and for this one we're going to be checking out a movie review real quick for Nobody. This was a film I didn't know a whole lot about. I'd seen trailers and posters and things that a lot of people had seen uh, and I'd seen the main captivating thing being that it was from the writers of John Wick and we all know just how badass the John Wick films were and after checking out this film it's it's plainly obvious that it's from the same writers because it has a lot of the same uh, elements. The fight scenes and the way that the fights are choreographed and created. Very similar to the kind of way that John Wick handles himself. The main character that Bob Odenkirk plays in this one is effectively a substitute John Wick, but with a different background. He's basically... He looks... He looks very unassuming, which is obviously the purpose of the character. You know, you'd look at him and just think, oh, he's a nobody. That's the exact purpose. Yet another one of the films we've seen. It, we've seen a few times in the past these kind of films where, you know, you get these unassuming people. You think that they they won't be good for nothing or they won't be good for anything adventurous, fight-wise. You, know, you know what I get. You get what I'm saying with that. But, uh, yeah... <laughs> As unassuming as Bob Odenkirk appears, he kicks ass in this one. He does a lot with his character. He he absolutely beats the mother brother out of some people. Absolutely fantastic. Like I, I'm going to assume he used a stunt double at points, but if he didn't, he's a hell of a lot more athletic than I give him credit for. Because prior to this, my only experience with Bob Odenkirk is literally... Uh, Saul Goodman from Breaking Bad and then obviously Better Call Saul. I watched about one or two seasons, I think, of that show. So seeing the kind of characters that he's played in the past is a very drastic comparison to what he's playing in this particular movie. But I can't complain because he gives an absolutely stellar performance in this movie. I didn't really know what to expect going into it. Like I was expecting fight scenes and things just because of the John Kirk connection but I didn't really know what to expect I didn't know if it was going to be kind of someone trying to you know um like rehash the success of John Wick in the style and force it into a more comedic approach because when I see John Odenkirk I kind of expect a comedic approach in some sense which we do get we do get some comedic elements muddled in in this film and I, for me personally I think that the comedic moments were put in the exact right places and they were very well timed but in place of those or adjacent to those should I say is the action sequences and whilst I'd say it's probably the first half an hour of the film can be a bit slow once it gets past that point and we start seeing uh, a build and a build in the ferocity of his character, and a build in the action and the excitement, the adrenaline, all of that kind of stuff. That's when the film really starts to pay off, and it starts to starts to soar from there. With an absolutely fantastic ending, we even get Christopher. Is it Christopher Daniels? No, not Christopher Daniels. Sorry, uh, Christopher Lloyd. I think I forget the gentleman's name. The one that played Doc. Uh, the Doc in Back to the Future. We get a little bit of him playing Odenkirk's father. Absolutely fantastic cast in there. Because again, he's an unassuming elderly gentleman who, when it comes time for it, knows how to handle his business. Which is exactly what we kind of want to see once we start to get a feel for the, the progression of this movie. So overall, I'd have to say this film, definitely one I would recommend checking out. Stellar performances. If I was going to give it a letter grade, I'd have to say I'd probably give it. I'll give it a a B. B plus. I'll give it a B plus. Like I said, a bit slow at the start, which uh, they could have sprinkled some bits and bobs in there. But other than that, pretty solid from there on out. So that's everything I give it for this one. So let me know down below if you've seen this film. Because otherwise, that is everything I had for you on this one. So stay safe. Have a good day. Night, evening, afternoon, whatever the hell it is, wherever the hell you are. Movie Madness, Maccabee out. Mm -hmm.